Welcome to this breaking hood report. By now every one of y'all should know about the Tekashi 69 situation. Highly controversial rapper Tekashi 69 was arrested last Sunday and then transferred into detention at Metropolitan Detention Center Brooklyn. There he was confronted with a large number of very heavy charges ranging from racketeering, armed robbery to discharging a firearm while committing a crime. Given the nature of these charges, most media outlets reported that Tekashi might face life in prison. The rumor mill spins all out of control with people claiming stuff like he's definitely going to face time to he's not facing time. Everyone seems to have an opinion but very few do really know what is going on. That is why I reached out to the law firm of Lance Lazaro who is going to defend Tekashi 69 in the upcoming trial. In response to the catalog of questions I sent to Lance, I've received the following official statement. Daniel Hernandez is completely innocent of all charges being brought against him. An entertainer who portrays a gangster image to promote his music does not make him a member of an enterprise. Mr. Hernandez became a victim of this enterprise and later took steps by firing employees and publicly denounced this enterprise through a morning show. Threats were then made against his life which resulted in this case being brought immediately. So this is obviously a very interesting statement because it portrays the line of defense that will be brought forth by the Tekashi 69 defense team. They say he's totally innocent, he was not even part of that enterprise, in fact he was the victim of this and only portraying to be a gangster rapper does not imply that you are a gangster. He says that the only reason why this whole shebang even takes place is the fact that threats were made against Tekashi's life. That raises the question why Tekashi is now in detention and not being separated, why he's part of general population and not being in a special cell or whatever. And it indicates that the Tekashi defense team is so sure to battle these charges that they already say that he's flat out innocent. If this also implies that the Tekashi defense team has evidence to tackle these charges is obviously not clear but it somehow is kind of indicated but it also seems not to be a too outlandish thought given the bravado, the conviction of this statement. This statement clearly says these charges are false and will be dropped. And if any one of y'all now feels kind of taken back to the Snoop Dogg situation way back in the day where he was accused of murder and faced lifetime imprisonment, well that's the nature of the situation as it is right now. But I'll keep a very close eye on this and I'll give you further updates as soon as I've got new information. Make sure to like, subscribe and share this video. My name is Johnny Mutante with Mutant Television. I'm out. Peace.